How's it going YouTube? Today I'm bringing you guys another Pelican Box uh, lithium battery build that I did. Uh, this is my third one if you guys check out my channel. This is the uh, third box that I built. The first one was a lead acid battery. I quickly switched over to lithium after that. My last build was a 100 amp hour uh, battery box that I used for the work trailer. It's been working out great this past like three or four months. Um, so since I have that in there, I wanted to do a smaller build that was a little bit more portable. Um, so I went with the Pelican Storm Case IM2050 with a Dakota Lithium 23 amp hour battery. And I wanted to keep this one super simple. And the main reason why I did that is if you guys check out my channel, this is a Pelican speaker box build with a DC charge port at the top. So I wanted to build this box to actually use that all day if I needed to. Uh, when you're having parties and stuff. So let's go through the build. So basically I went with the Pelican IM2050 Storm case. It was like 65 bucks. Um, it's a really solid case. I actually really like it. I'm probably gonna do a second build. And I put a DC charge port here at the top. We got the 12 volt outlet for the Dometic fridge. I did use this with the, uh, with the Dometic fridge and I used it for like seven hours and when I came back to the truck after golfing and after having a few drinks, it was still running and it was at like 60%. So I'm guessing it's gonna last about 14 hours, um, which is kind of on par with what the Dometic fridge pulls. It's anywhere from 0.8 amp hours to like 1.2. So let's just go in the middle. Um, let's just say that it uses one amp hour average. So yeah, it'll last about 20 to 22 hours. And then I also have a USB charger and then a USB-C charger. And what I did was I wired it to the switch. So when the switch is off here, then these ports go off and then we're gonna get into the build. So this one was actually pretty simple. It only took, I don't know, like an hour, hour or two. Um, and then, sorry, I forgot the battery, smart battery monitor. It gives you the percentage. Um, based on your battery type, you do have to tune this correctly or adjust it correctly. So mine did not come adjusted correctly, so I had to put in the settings for the actual battery. So in here, it's not the prettiest wiring job, but when you have this little space, it's really hard, especially with these 10 and 12 gauge wires. They don't like to bend very easily. So we went with the Dakota Lithium 12 volt, 23 amp hour. Uh, battery, so this is a really good one. It has its own BMS system and I actually Built a lot of redundancy into this for safety. Um, I have three different fuses in here. You don't actually You know, you might not need three different fuses But I like to have fuses everywhere that I can just in case the wire gets really hot and it overloads The first thing that's gonna pop is the fuse. It's not gonna start a fire So I put the two I took the step down bit I drilled these two ports out. This wiring does come with these um, outlets, so I didn't wire these myself, it came with it. So what I did was I put those in, I cut this, I put this on a quick disconnect with the fuse. So we have fuses going from the power to the switch, and then we have another fuse going from the load to the outlets. And then I also have a SAE charger right here that I put on its own fuse. This is either an eight or a 10 gauge wire. Um, so what I did was I just paired that correctly with the right fuse and you know, there, there we go. So three different fuses, pretty quick build for the most part. Um, when you guys start doing this, it is easy to mess up these holes here because if you use a step down bit, there are certain steps, uh, step down bits that if you go all the way down, um, you're gonna make a huge hole and then these fall right through. I did do that my first time and it messed up the Pelican case. Um, so just be aware of that when you're building it. I hope you guys don't make the same mistake as I did because I wasted like 65 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, this is it. So I'll go through how I use this. So when I wanna use the, when I wanna use the speaker, what I do is I just plug that in there and then the speaker goes on and then we just crank the music so
so it's a pretty fun build. Um, I would probably go with, you know, a 20 to 30 amp hour battery. I've kind of realized that that's a pretty good size to do what I want to do for running the fridge, charging the phone battery. Um, what I might actually do next with this build, with the battery box build, is make my own lithium ion battery pack. I still have to do a little bit more research on how that works with the voltages, you know, each EBL battery being like 3.2 volts. Um, I just want to make a 12 volt system with a lot of milliamp hours. I know this one's 23,000 uh, milliamp hours. You can get a lot more in that same space if you solder your own battery. So that's going to be my next project. Um, if I use that same space, I'm guessing I can get you know, in this space right here, maybe like 30 to 40,000 milliamp hours worth of batteries in there. Of course, it's gonna increase the weight, but its capacity is gonna be a lot higher. I just don't know exactly how I'm gonna do that yet or how exactly to do it. So that's the next project. Um, yeah, so I hope, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Feel free to comment. I'm gonna put all the uh, parts in the description below. I don't get kickbacks from it. I don't want kickbacks. It's just so you guys have a quick reference as to like what parts that I use. And uh, yeah, let, let me know what you guys think. If you guys have any questions, I'll help you out as best as I can. And thanks for watching the video.